This looks really rough. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Natasha Bersik. In this video, I am reviewing a doll with pimples and scars. To be exact, the doll doesn't have them from the start, but we will apply them using special stickers. All of it's made by Lamely brand. Traditionally, a little history in the beginning. Lamely doll is a so-called average alternative to perfectly proportioned Barbie doll. The doll creator is an American artist and researcher, Nicolay Lam, and the main critic of an unrealistic proportions of a Barbie doll. He invented Lamely in the 2013, when the Barbie line didn't carry dolls with diverse body types. That's the reason he considers Lamley to be the actual start of the Barbie doll evolution. Lamley's name is a hybrid of the creator's last name Lam and the word family, because besides Nicolet Lam, a large team that considers themselves family worked together to create the doll. When making the doll, Lam based it from his personal experience and low self-esteem in school, meaning that despite being a male, Nicolet Lam regarded Barbie as being a threat and that it was sending unrealistic beauty goals. That's why he grew up and decided to fight against it. He did research using computer algorithms and changed the proportions of the Barbie doll to an average 19-year-old girl using them. He used the data from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in his research. This sounds grand and serious, but it is questionable how realistic are the end results of the doll's proportions. Nikolai Lam himself insists that Lamely isn't a fat doll, as it's described in the media. It's an athletic young girl that loves traveling. By the way, the slogan of the brand is, Average is Beautiful. Another fun fact is that the financing for the doll manufacturing was done with the help of crowdfunding campaign, and the release happened in 2014. The opinions about the doll split. Some people supported the project and donated money to create it and gave positive reviews. At the same time, many thought that Lamley doesn't resemble Kid's Toy and therefore isn't going to be popular. The cost in the beginning was 25 bucks. The brand includes accessories like outfits, wheelchair, sticker sets, including the set we're reviewing today. Second attention deserves a brochure called Period Party. It has stickers in a form of pads that you can stick onto the doll's panties. Besides the traveling doll, there was an Afro-American photographer doll and a male doll with an unforgettable slogan. Yes, he doesn't have a six-pack, but has a sense of humor produced. Now let's take a look at the box, and I want to say right away, I like the painted version of Lamely better than the actual doll. And her painted version, I think she looks just like me. And she loves traveling. I like the way the box looks, it's compact, narrow, and is covered in cute designs. Lamely is holding luggage with stickers from different countries. Letter I in the brand name has an adorable heart, same as on the luggage tag. It also says that this is an exclusive first edition. On this picture, Lamely is following a brick road surrounded by pretty plants, butterflies, birds. On the reverse side, all the people that took part in creating the doll are listed. They are the Lamely family. All the 13,000 people that invested in the crowdfunding campaign are also mentioned. At the bottom, you can find contact info and also the name of the design artist on the box that seemed to be Nikolay's relative, Yelena. Suspiciously, they all have Russian names in this family despite being Americans. When we open the box, we see a brochure with the greetings in different languages, including in Russian. At the bottom, there's also an opened luggage, and it says that in this brochure, Lamely will share some of her travel moments with us. This brochure is very pretty and detailed and reminds me of the beautiful Ever After High brochures. Here we see Lamely traveling all over, including Paris, New York. As you can see, she is helping a boy to fix his bike. In London, she's happy about the rain. Did you notice that she's wearing the same outfit for all of her travels? The brochure ends with a thank you note and website links, and the first link looks pretty interesting. There, you can make a passport for the doll. We start with picking who is getting the passport. Traveler, photographer, or a male doll. Then we fill in the name. Let's make it Yekaterina Petrova, and it suits her well. We add the age and click Download the Passport. Then we open the PDF file with the ready passport. Overall, the brochure design and interactive passport is awesome. I loved it. Now we see actual Lamely doll with the same background as a picture version. Like the picture comes alive. So I have a doll in my hand that looks like an average 19-year-old. 
In Nicolai Lam's opinion, now I might sound subjective because I'm used to the dolls with unrealistic proportions, but the proportions of this doll don't seem too harmonious to me. In my opinion, her upper body is too bulky and big in comparison to her lower body. The gap between the legs is too wide. I am also confused about the neck. It seems too wide and the junction between the neck and head is too obvious. It is lower than on the other dolls and the skin color doesn't match. The cherry on the top is the face. The picture looked better than the actual result. Lamely looks sad, when according to the story, she should be happy, traveling, and living. <laughs> and because Lamely is basically Barbie's opposite, she lacks practically any makeup, looks as natural as possible, just a touch of blush on the cheeks, Pay close attention to the mold. Her lower lip sticks out a lot. That contributes to her specific face expression. Overall, her face paint is very basic. You can tell that the eyes are like decals. The right eye has a small defect. If you compare it to the Barbie, the difference in the eyes is huge. But the hair is amazing. Very smooth and silky, pleasant to touch and thick. The color is a natural chestnut. The hairs are two different colors. There is a part but not super straight. And the hair rooting is good. Good. The image is extremely basic and the clothes are simple. The point is that this type of clothes can be worn by the kid and it's not some high fashion obnoxious outfits with other dolls. Her jean shirt with a gradual change from dark to light is made out of cotton. The front has a pocket and button imitations, but for real it has velcro. The sleeves have fold imitations, the same as with the collar. Shorts have low waist and are made out of dark thick fabric, similar to jeans. They also look like they're folded. The pockets up front are real. The silver knob on the fly imitates a button, but in reality is also a velcro. The back of the shorts have real pockets as well. The doll lacks any accessories, earrings, bracelets, only the sneakers. They're made out of a soft rubber. Fake shoelaces are an orange color. The white color of the shoes is pretty dull, shiny, so it doesn't look too stylish. There is a slit on the back for easy on and off, and here's how the soles look. Now it's time to add some charm to the doll, to be exact, add pimples, freckles, whatever. The sticker set looks pretty cool, even the brand Lamely looks like it opens up as a sticker. Lamely stickers include 40 multi-use stickers. On the back of the package, a happy boy and girl applying the stickers onto the Lamely doll. With a body positive movement, this set is very on point. And I have to agree that this set most likely helps children to accept their flaws in themselves easier. And the presence of the boy on the picture is pretty important because there's always girls and boys in Lamely promo pictures. Let's take out the stickers. On the page, we see a person's image and stickers with a brief description. There are freckles, acne, blushing, glasses. In my opinion, it's weird to stick glasses on the doll. Lots of adhesive, bandages. Some are huge compared to the doll. Temporary tattoo, including Lamely's brand heart. Tears that look like giant drops. Then moles, scrapes, scratches bruises, then stitches, scars, cellulite, mosquito bites, stretch marks, weird looking rectangle with pictures, a cast. It needs to be folded over an arm or a leg and made to look like it's been painted by friends. These are grass and dirt spots. I mean crazy amount of different stickers that can be placed not only on Lamely dolls but any fashion doll. In this case, let's add pimples to both Barbie and Lamely. I tried cheeks first but it was hard to make it look even. Forehead is easier. It looks so so. Sorry, Barbie. By the way, the sticker wouldn't stay on Barbie. Barbie rejects this foreign object and I'm not sure that the stickers are as multi-use as it claims. In time, I think they will stop sticking and will lose its appeal. Do you think it even looks like pimples? <laughs> Comment, please. Let's decorate Lamely more and I am debating between blush and freckles. I picked freckles because they're more weird. Uh, no, the freckles look like I stuck two greasy pancakes onto her face. First, they don't look like freckles and second, they don't stick that good and peel off around the edges like she has under eye patches. Let's just stick to the face moles. The sticker is small and it sticks good. Here is Barbie with the mole on the same spot as mine. Let's push making fun even further and slap on the black eye. 
Oh my god, it looks really bad. <laughs> the sticker is huge and covered the whole eye. Okay, let's stick it onto a more suitable place. A knee. It's spread out pretty good on the knee and looks realistic in my opinion. She has a scratch on her arm, something a cat would do. I stuck a bug bite onto her leg. Looks natural, realistic. All the stickers look better on the body than on the face in general. Less noticeable that it's the stickers. It's extra weird, but let's try sticking the glasses. Looks great. She even started crying about her weird glasses and the tears too big and not natural looking. By the way, the grass and dirt spots look best on shoes. And let's say she decided to band-aid her bug bite. The band-aid is way too big. And this is a size smaller. Um, there are bigger ones too. Now let's undress the doll and add tattoos, uh, cellulite, and to check out her body. Cellulite on her thighs, very nice. And the stretch marks are for the stomach, it looks like. Judging by the shape, it isn't meant for it anyway. So let's try the cast. Honestly, it looks more like a paper wrapped around the leg. Placed the cut on the elbow. Tattoo on the back. And the heart tattoo just above the butt. I think that's enough. Write in the comments, how do you like Lamely's image? Honestly, it looks pretty rough, but let's not forget that it's a children's doll, and her goal is to accept your own flaws. Plus, stickers add an interesting, fun play element. If a girl fell off her bike recently, I think she'll get a kick out of placing a cut sticker on the doll, and some may relive the experience while playing. At last, let's check out the doll's body and compare it to the curvy body made by the Mattel company. Start with the head. Lamely's is large and the junction is not the best looking. The neck is thicker, shoulders are broader, the boobs are smaller, and the waist is almost non-existent. Opposite to Barbie, she has a waist even though she's curvy. Overall, Lamley's body is longer than Barbie's, and therefore the legs are shorter. Her thighs and butt sit very low, which might be normal in real people's proportions, but it looks weird in a doll. Her thighs are narrower than Barbie's, but have a larger gap between them. The portion with the panties is wider compared to Barbie's. The design on them is hearts, if you look closer. Barbie has a more prominent back bent and a bubble butt. Lamley's arms are wider and hands are larger. The feet are way larger than Barbie's. But we all know Barbie's feet size is unrealistic. When it comes to Lamley's materials, the head is made out of rubber, the body is plastic, but the legs and arms are also rubber. That's a huge difference from Barbie. The legs are almost like 90s Barbie, but thicker. The head moves around and bends side to side. There are joints in the shoulders, but not elbows. And the arms bend into clicks. The hands have joints, but you can take them out. The joints in the hips allow you to lift and lower the legs and spread to the sides a little bit. The knees also bend in two clicks, but the bend is not enough to place the doll in a comfortable position. Overall, Lamley doesn't sit gracefully just the way her body is made. The feet have joints also and come out. And to make it easier to compare and to see the contrast, I put Lamely next to a regular Barbie. Who would you pick? Barbie or Lamely? I personally pick Barbie, the doll that looks unrealistic but is easy on the eye. By the way, out of curiosity, I searched for Lamely's one-of-a-kind dolls online and found this one that I loved. The same body, same mold, but the drawings are very beautiful. I also found this picture where Lamely's head is on Barbie's body, and again, I like it better than just Lamely as she is. By the way, I need to dress her up for the end of the review, and I have this dress. The eBay seller where I found this doll gave it to me. Judging by the dress label, this is an original Lamely brand dress. It has flower design with ladybugs, very puffy and strapless on top. It fits Lamely great and shows off her tattoo on the back really nice. Overall, the doll is very interesting and a great addition to my weird doll collection but it is too boring for me based on her image. And as I know, it never became popular with the kids as predicted, but I think the idea with the stickers with accepting yourself is pretty cool as a fun game element for kids. So give a thumbs up if you liked watching the doll with pimples, scrapes, and cuts, with cellulite and other fun stuff. I'm really waiting on your opinions about the doll in the comment section. Keep smiling and accept yourself as you are, and love yourself. This is probably the most important message that Lamley Doll sends, and it's awesome. That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>